Okay, folks, Wally Brownlee here again, target shooting. Uh, you're going to have to excuse me. If we have any background noise, i got to apologize for that. We're in a gravel pit where they're doing some open pit mining. Uh, so if any of that comes up in the video and stuff, sorry about that. I guess there's not too much we can do about that. But anyway, I want to demo my Model 1200 uh, rifle rest. I mean, this is just such a really super neat product. And a lot of times people need just a front rest only because they're going to be in competition and do some competition shooting. And when your competition uh, rules are, they will only let you use, they will not let you use a one-piece rest. It's got to be... You know, that connects the front and the back. It has to be just a total separate rest up front. So that's why we developed this 1200. But I'm going to kind of start from the back for from the bottom up here. I highly recommend our Liberty foot pads. So our foot pads, these are like, like two and a quarter inches in uh, diameter. Uh, I use an eighth inch asorbethane on here, which is something that really dampens all the vibration. And it's very tacky. Matter of fact, when you first get these, it has a little bit of film on here. When you peel it off, you need to put some talcum powder on there because it's so tacky. If you stuck that to a surface, you have to pry it off with a screwdriver. But once you do that, it's like a one-time thing. And then anytime you want to get this little bit stickier, you just kind of lick your fingers or whatever, you know, dampen that up, and you stick it on there. And it's going to stick really, really good. Uh, so anyway, this is an accessory, but I highly recommend it's one that you must have. Uh, now the feet here, as you can see, I use these and stuff, and I can screw these in and out. I do have a, a bullseye bubble level in the back here. Uh, I just screw these up and down until I, get, until I get my bullseye level just, you know, perfect. And then I go ahead, and then I take it, and I just lock these things down. I use this jammer to lock this down. Uh, and if one notices up front here, my, uh, now for that, this is a two-stage rest. I can raise the whole inside part up here. Uh, so if I'm going to be shooting at some really long ranges, some extreme long ranges, I can do that. And then I can simply tweak it here, you know, more and more and go up a whole lot more yet. Uh, so anyway, that is a nice feature to have and stuff. I typically, when I'm using it uh, out here shooting 100 yards, I'm always going to have it all the way down because I like everything to be down there in the center. Uh, the other feature on here, obviously, our dual rail gun stop here. I mean, slides in and out any position that you you know need it to be in. It locks in. I mean, it's super super solid. Uh, I mean, the ultra uh, windage uh, knob. I mean, it's just silky silky smooth, no backlash. Uh, and then to do the elevation, the fine tune elevation. Once you loosen this knob here, there's a keyway that go that goes into and stuff, and that's going to allow you to go ahead and spin up and down and get your elevation there. Now what I like doing, I use this for my gross elevation. I will turn this until my crosshair is like just about perfectly on my target. Then I'm gonna lock this rascal in right here. Then all my tweaking is done from the very back dial, the very back knob. I'm gonna turn that ever so slightly and that's gonna just tweak me you know, up or down and get me right on target. Uh, now another one of the features on here is our quick release sandbag attachment. There's a couple little socket head Allen screws back here right underneath these little leather ears. And when you loosen this, this simply allows you to take this and slide this off. And I tell you, that's very, very handy. Uh, when I want to put a different bag on there or something, instead of taking all these little socketed cap screws out, I just loosen this and I slide another one on. Uh, it is supplied with a 532nd Allen, but I do recommend you get a T-handled Allen because that's so much handier to use than the little bitty one here. But it's stored right here on the side of the, of the rest. Uh, but anyway, folks, that's pretty much it. This thing weighs about 20, uh, 28 pounds. Uh, I mean, we make every part on here. There's no China connection here. I mean, everything is silky smooth and it's precision made. And to me, for the money, I think it's just a blazing, blazing, blazing product. I mean, it's just a great buy. Uh, but anyway, uh, when you get ready to purchase a front rest, I would sure appreciate if you give this uh, some consideration. And there again, we're going to be doing some shooting off this. 
and we're going to give this thing a, a little test run and uh, we'll see how it does. Okay, I got the 1200 rifle rest set up here and as one notices, probably the first thing you're going to notice is these little white sheets here. Now those are cling free sheets that I take out of the dryer. Once they run through that dryer cycle, uh, I'm going to use them on, uh, on my sandbag because I just like that firearm to slide silky, silky smooth back and forth, back and forth, just silky smooth. So what I want to do now, I mean, we're going to test this thing out. I got a target down there at 100 yards. Uh, we also have a camera down there right next to the target. So hopefully I'm not going to blast that thing away. But anyway, we're going to give this thing a try and see what we can do. Okay, folks, I think that was a pretty good group down there. And, and not that I'm no great shot or something, but I mean, the reason, uh, I mean, when you use good equipment, I mean, that just makes uh, the shooting experience so much more fun. And uh, but anyway, with a model 1200 rest here, uh, if you, when you get ready to do purchase a front rest, I sure wish you'd give this some consideration. But uh, I do appreciate you watching and shoot straight.